Okay, here we are standing in the sea, just to make a point about horizons. So we can see that the horizon is always at eye level, no matter how high you are, if you're looking straight ahead, our eyes create the horizon, okay? So what happens, of course, is when we, when we go down, even on this relatively calm day, we can see that, you know, whatever is appearing in front of us creates the horizon. Yeah, and of course the horizon here will move a little bit because of the, uh, the waves coming in. But as we go up, the horizon line stays at eye level, but we can just see more. Okay, we're not seeing more over the ball. We're just seeing beyond, up and over, those waves in the foreground. Yeah. Very, very simple stuff. Yeah, so now the waves right in front of us are, are cutting, cutting things off because the further away the waves are, the smaller they will appear. So, of course, the waves right in front of us are the biggest and they cut off everything else, but they create our horizon. In our vision, those waves come up to midway point. There you go. <laughs> it's got myself wet, got to pack it up now. Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. I'm going to play a few moments of the rest of this sunset on this kind of cloudy, hazy day as the sun comes down to meet the horizon. And we'll see here how this is a great example of how the uh, bottom of the sun uh, kind of gets uh, spread out and almost absorbed and soaked up by this uh, convergence line sitting on top of the horizon line of the sea there. And one thing worth pointing out again is uh, when looking at a horizon like this, we kind of seem to have uh, a strange depth of field to this. And uh, this is because uh, the surface, the sea that we can see in front of us, uh, only goes so far, as I explained in the clip just before. Um, it only depends on the uh, highest wave in front of you and all the other ones behind it being maybe the same height, but getting smaller and smaller with distance in our vision. So this creates a cutoff point, which uh, we can see as the horizon line. So that might be a few meters in front of us, it might be a few hundred meters or a few miles, but it is uh, way before uh, the uh, what we can see in the sky there. So although these uh, two um, elements meet at eye level in the middle of our field of view, um, we can see that uh, the sky is actually extending kind of further in our field of vision than the bottom half of the picture, which is only extending maybe um, a mile or so uh, to the uh, top of the horizon line there. So uh, this is worth keeping in mind when we look at horizons, how uh, the top half and the bottom half are kind of... Uh, slightly different perspectives. So we'll just run this now and we'll see how the bottom of the sun gets distorted in this line, this convergence line above the horizon line. Okay, so we can distinctly see here how the sun is not necessarily going below the horizon, but it is just going beyond the horizon. We'll start the clip again now and again we can just watch the sunlight getting distorted and you can just see how as that sun continues on its path away from us it is just going to get beyond the vanishing point thank you <laughs> The sun is going away. Yeah. Why? Why oh, the sun is going away? It's about time. Come on.
the sun is going away. Why? Why the sun is going away? Why? Why the sun is going away? It's night time. 